Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutsarot and this is going to be uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for October 8th to October 2018 and um, while I'm shuffling the cards guys, uh, 2018 excuse me, yeah so while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again that this will be just a, a general reading for Leo star signs and this will not be your personal reading therefore uh, here in this general spread I will explain you the topic um, of the week you know the, the general meanings of the cards in their positions as well as their synergy uh, in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you uh, and to draw cards, you know, and align them and make sense of them for your personal situation, then that is a matter of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also, the October videos are already out, the monthly ones, so feel free to check them out on my uh, YouTube channel. And uh, if you find them helpful and you want to know even more about your month, you can also purchase for $1.49 uh, the extended monthly tarot reading that focuses specifically on career and relationship for the representative star sign. So that set aside, we're going to the tarot spread first, which will contain four cards. The first card, it is a, about the topic of uh, your, your Leo's week. The second card will be about uh, the core of the situation. The third card will represent the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last card here it is the guidance that Taro has to offer to you. So let's see what you got here now. The topic of the week <clears throat> that will be the King of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles is associated with uh, a standpoint or a person in that case, you Leo's, uh, which is trying and is not even uh, trying but very successfully working and finalizing current undertakings and current deeds. So as a topic this um, this card kind of says that it will be a week where you're going to have an opportunity here to manifest certain plans or in general to complete a, a certain undertakings which you have been prolonging for a, quite a lot of time. And as a matter of fact that card speaks that you should strain yourself from, you know, uh, burdening, uh, burdening, excuse me, mm, your plate if I may express myself that way, from additional circumstances and from additional responsibilities because as I said the king is more prone to first finish what he ever started and after everything is finished that he have started then he starts a new undertakings. So as I said that will be an exceptional week you know where you can uh, finally manifest you know a traveling that you have planned, uh, you can finally manifest upon a certain project that you have planned or a certain activity into your relationship etc etc it will depend on every single one of you and it will depend upon your personal situation however the king has one key uh, condition here is that before you even attempt to make a manifestation you have to become aware or kind of like try to make a retrospection of how much you are to invest in it and how much you are gonna gain in return because the, this king is very calculative and it asks you to be calculative because um, that king does not invest more than he gets out so at least you have to be on the ground zero um, if not into a, um, a beneficial position when it comes to undertakings and activities throughout the week. Then the next card will be about the uh, foundation, it will be about the core of the situation or why this is happening guys. We have the Six of Wands and the Six of Wands is a card of peak, peak experiences reaching milestones, collecting rewards uh, from uh, one's great toils as well it is about being recognized as someone capable or someone um, who made it as well etc etc so what this card tells us here is that your undertakings that are currently going you know or the plans that you are creating at this very moment or the person or the person that you are interested in or uh, you know the uh, the project that you are working upon at your career and in general your aims 
truly worth it and you are to realize that if you have still any doubts in it you know through throughout this week october 8 to october 14th uh, and that itself is going to make you focus entirely upon everything that you do have right now in your basket instead of uh, you know attempting to add additional as i said responsibilities and undertakings in that same basket or in that same plate um, it is likely as well that you are going to see a, a tremendous beyond expectation results of a certain labor you have done recently or a certain approach that you have taken. You know, uh, just to give you an example here, let's say we're talking about uh, a relationship and you have started uh, and you have initiation, initiated a connection with a certain people that with a certain person, excuse me, which is an interest of yours. And you are seeing that this is really working out. I mean, you're seeing that that person is returning back the interest. They are showing that they do also have an interest. So what this, how this plays out is that you need to maximize and capitalize upon that interest. Instead of trying to date even with other people, you know, you need to try to, you know, consolidate this specific connection and this specific relationship quoting quote and similar situations are unfolding in every single field of uh, of your life so it is important here if you're feeling miserable and if you're feeling that there is nothing out there for you this is because it is not out there but it is within the zone of comfort that you have already created the next card is going to show us the the challenges or the predicaments that you have to cope with. Now we do have the Two of Swords and the Two of Swords generally is about peace, it's about equilibrium, it is about um, you know being passive etc etc so that is going to be a challenge so what this card tells us that even though this there will be no newness whatsoever uh, in your environment Leo throughout this week like what you already have to work on is not enough you know but what you already have to work on will be very very dynamic now we are not saying here we're not talking about I don't want to get me wrong here guys, we're not talking about a, a boring week, we're talking about a week where you will have a lot to maximize upon, alright, and that itself is going to be very, very dynamic. Now this card here also points us that you may find it difficult to... Um, to kind of like uh, uh, divide yourself in between a couple of responsibilities or in between a couple of uh, um, <clears throat> activities there because either of them is going to want your uh, attention all right and simultaneously we're talking about here being uh, challenging to maintain equilibrium and you may find it very difficult to make a decision which one should be first in front of other etc etc but that car itself does not speak for a, a room of failure therefore it will be important here to catch up your breath you know and just think of what is more important for you rather than you know what is more important for others and also this card points to some sort of a unyielding standpoint that you may have upon a certain activities and upon a certain enterprises as well uh, and uh, because uh, you may be ignorant to see a, a certain situation or a certain enterprise you know from a, a different angle or to consider all points of views before deciding what to do that is also a, a thing that you need to work out on <clears throat> and it is uh, and as this card is passive here the, the topic of the week which kind of incorporate no sense of emergency uh, in the reading you should not feel oppressed to make a decision with the snap of your fingers all right you have the time to make a at least short deliberation and when you do so try to put yourself into the other party's shoes so you can see how this is going to affect them but at the end as i said your decision should be uh, kind of like uh, based on what you want 
and then uh, we do have the last card which is the guidance which Tarot has to offer for you uh, Leos and this is the Eight of Wands a uh, very interesting card here because the Eight of Wands many people say is, that it is about speed it is about dynamic the Eight of Wands is one of the most violent cards when it comes to, to passion all right? but that passion can be only released uh, when you incorporate your creativity in your daily routine which speaks that you can be so much more beneficial and so much more um, productive if you don't just do things like a robot all right and just buy the book but you also exert a certain amount of creativity in it very important here when we're talking about interactions and relationships with people when we have the uh, eight of wands is that you need to when you interact with those people either you know intimate relationship co-worker relationship you know or just a friendship etc etc it is important here for you to kind of allow your imagination to fly because through your imagination there will be a huge amount of passion released and, and when I'm talking about passion I'm not talking about temperament uh, so there won't be any temper uh, in between you and this person so there won't be any wrangles but rather like a passion to uh, let's say to improve you know the state of connection that you do have in between one another which way which will kind of like a make a prerequisite for you to resolve some misunderstandings to, to kind of like uh, settle down some disagreements uh, and so on and so on so uh, this was the tarot reading for uh, that specific week October 8 to October 14th now let's see what the Lenormand has to say now uh, while I'm shuffling uh, I want to tell you that the Lenormand is going to show um, a, a event that you should either uh, look forward to or uh, try to avoid <clears throat> And I will go by, you know, giving you the uh, how every card of that I drew about Lenormand stands. So the first card that we do have, this is going to be the coffin. And the coffin stands for completion, ending and stop. Or rather like for ending, stop and completion. Then the next one, this is going to be uh, the tree. Now the tree stands for lo longevity. It stands for um, <clears throat> health. It stands for strong roots. And then the next one, that is going to be the anchor. Now the anchor stands for hope. It stands for uh, long lasting, which is again like longevity. It stands for, um, uh, for comfort. So what we do have is a couple of interpretations here with this uh, reading uh, and one of the interpretations is ending of a, a very stable position. Right. By giving the tarot reading here, I have to go with the second interpretation, which is the positive interpretation of these uh, cards, which says completion of a, a long term of a, a comfort of longevity a longevity comfort because what we're seeing with tarot is about a, a capitalizing on a milestone you know completing your current uh, undertaking so you can create them as a, a base as a trampoline for you to move on from there so uh, I have to go with the second interpretation here which is a, a completion of a cycle of longevity here that gives you hope that gives you something to look forward to that creates a, a comfort within your environment environment. So that being said, Leos, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for October 8th to October 14th, 2018. And I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And again, uh, this was just a general reading for Leo Star Sign. Therefore, I have explained you the meanings of the cards, uh, their synergy in the position and in the spread. But it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want a, a specific cards drawn for your situation and you want me to make a sense of them you know and to give you the answer you seek this is a, a, a matter of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings Rod signing out now see you next time bye